I just purchased a $700 Pokemon mystery box on eBay, promising 10 PSA graded cards, a bunch of booster packs, and some other random and fun goodies too. Now $700 is a lot of money to spend on something, let alone something that you don't even get to see until you open it. I wanted to spend this money so you don't have to. Together, we're gonna see what's inside and see if we can at least break even, maybe even get a profit, or are we gonna take a huge loss? What do you think? Let's find out. So I bought this box before the channel started, so there's absolutely no possibility that this seller ever knew who I was. Sometimes they like to stuff extra goodies in the box when they know it's gonna be shown on video so that you will buy those mystery boxes too, but not this time. While we crack this open, I'm gonna keep track of how much money we've earned along the way. And again, hopefully we can at least break even. All right, so real quick, something happened while editing this video. In fact, two things happened. First of all, after watching this all the way through, I found that it was quite long. And you know what? I wanted to shorten it up, get it going, get to the hits, get to the good things, get to the not so good things. And number two, I used the wrong microphone the entire time. Loser, loser. But it's okay. It's all right, because I think this actually works out in our favor, because I get to do a little voiceover play-by-play, -play, and then I've actually had some time to do some research on these things, because honestly, some of the stuff that I pull out of this box, I've never seen before, ever. As we're opening things up, I'll share the value of each item, plus a running total along the way. Before we get into it, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because this stuff helps out a lot. So appreciate you being here. Thank you, and let's get back to it. Here's a quick overview of everything that was inside. It's actually quite a bit of stuff. Over here, you'll see the PSA graded cards stacked. There were indeed 10 total, which is good. Over here, you'll see some singles in top loaders that were, um, how do I say it? Just, just, just watch the video. And over here, you'll see a stack of 20 total booster packs. Maybe something vintage? We'll see, I'll show you exactly what we pulled in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at the extras that came in the box, the sort of non-card items and theme decks, and let's add up the value of all of those items. All right, so for these, we're just gonna chill out, sit back, relax, because there's nothing really worth talking about here. All right, and that brings the total to $58.50 so far. Got a lot of work to do. We still have a lot to open up. All right, next up, we got the singles top loaded, which is a good sign, but let's go through these real fast. All right, first up, as you can see, we have a Chansey Reverse Hollow from Evolutions. It's not even centered properly, not the best condition. So let's keep going. Next up, a Blossom from Hole on Phantoms which is a set that has the Gold Star Pikachu. Uh, this is obviously not the Gold Star Pikachu, but still an interesting card. Gyarados GX from Hidden Fates. This is not the tin promo. This is number 16 from the set. Wigglytuff GX from Hidden Fates as well. Pinsir GX, one of the most ugly Pokemon in my opinion. All right, we got a Regice 
with the Pokemon League stamp there, Reverse Hollow. This was actually handed out at an event, I believe, and we got two of them. Two Reverse Hollows. Not a popular Pokemon, but kind of cool. There's probably a story there. We got a Champ, a Professor Oak's Hint, and a Staryu from Evolutions. A Nidoran Reverse Hollow from Evolutions, and a Fracture from Unified Minds. We got a Kyrem from, I believe, Steam Siege EX. Okay, okay. And a Blastoise Spirit Link, non-hollow, non-reverse. All right, so that's not so great. Nothing really worth writing home about, N nothing even worth grading, to be honest. We have these PSA slabs, though, that are hopefully going to save our butts. But let's see what booster packs we got first, and actually, we'll add those to our total value. Sword and Shield Base, Detective Pikachu, which I've never opened before. Sun and Moon Booning Shadows. Vivid Voltage. Rebel Clash. Sun and Moon. Champion's Path, we got Evolutions, which is a nicely uh, valuable pack right there. Fates Collide. Another Champion's Path. Cosmic Eclipse, that's a great set to open up. Unbroken Bonds. Darkness Ablaze, Sword and Shield Base once again. Steam Siege, okay. Crimson Invasion, oh, for that Gyarados. Sword and Shield Base and Rebel Clash. And then finally, Hidden Fates. All right, so that's about $100 worth of booster packs. Not bad, but again, we have a lot of ground to make up. I'll open up these packs next, but I'm not gonna be adding those card values to the total since those are pulls that we didn't buy per se. Uh, I will show the price of the cards for fun, but yeah, these packs do hold value if we were to keep them sealed. Let's start with this Burning Shadows pack, which for some odd reason was the only cardboarded booster pack. And uh, we'll fast forward until we get a pack worthy of our time. So it's sad when the first pack to give you something decent is Steam Siege, known as one of the worst sets ever made with literally nothing to look forward to in this set. But however, we do actually pull a Mega Gardevoir EX Ultra Rare Full Art. Actually a really beautiful looking card. It doesn't hold a ton of value. It's being sold for about $5 on eBay recently, but at least we have something. And sometimes you just, you know, need to get the ball rolling. Darkness Ablaze. I actually haven't opened up much of this, but there's definitely that Chase VMAX Charizard Ultra Rare, which we all want. And there it is. There it is. Let's go. This is the Chase card in the set. And you might recognize the same artwork in the Champion's Path set as the Rainbow Rare. But wow, this is awesome. This recently sold, get this, ungraded pack fresh on eBay for only about $90. It's been hovering between 90 and 120 lately, but still a great pull indeed. Hollow from Fates Collide. Not super great, but I really love the artwork here. The leaves in the background. The hollow is looking real good. And now, XY Evolutions from 2016, a very popular set now that was once considered sort of just extra not so great, but uh, it brings back a lot of nostalgia for people since it uses original base set artwork. And it's a set that I actually recently completed in whole, which is pretty cool. And I have some cards at PSA right now being graded, but we have a Gyarados Hollow and a Doduo, Secret Rare too. But this Hollow is definitely a great 
pull. Although this one has a very apparent print line going through it, which if I were to get graded uh, on this, it would not help at all. Plus the centering is a little bit off too, but you know, it's a pull and I'm definitely happy with it. Gyarados is one of my favorite Pokemon. I have a base set two version of this card, which is in much better condition and from the year 2000. All right, let's keep going here. All right, a Dreadnought VMAX from Champion's Path, not the Charizard, but another great looking full art, but not the Rainbow Rare, which would have been much, much more valuable uh, and definitely not the Charizard. So I've never opened a Detective Pikachu pack before. This is one of those that has only four cards in it, but when opening it, we actually did pull a Charizard. It goes for about $12 raw on eBay. I mean, any Charizard is good, right? This one though, th this one as I zoom in here is ugly. It is ugly, but hey, PSA 10 last sold for about 250. All right then, well, that's good news. I'm probably gonna go get this graded and it's good news also because I literally didn't pull anything else even in the Hidden Fates pack. And my rare from Hidden Fates was Blaine's Last Stand. Okay, well, there we go. Great pulls, quite happy with everything, especially because of the Charizard that was pulled from Darkness Ablaze. And uh, I won't be adding these values again to the total box value, but for $100 worth of booster packs, I think we definitely came up on this one. All right, so let's put that total box value back on the screen and let's begin to add to it with our PSA graded cards. Starting with a PSA 8 Rayquaza EX Black Star promo. Decent card, I guess. Uh, this came from a Powers Beyond tin and there are only two PSA 8s of this card in the world, which yeah, sounds kind of cool, but the rest are nines and tens. And the nines are going for about $75 on the high end. So I'd probably put a value of about $30 to this one. Next up, we have a Gem Mint 10 Eevee Hollow, which is awesome. Having a Gem Mint 10 in a mystery box is always good. Eevee also is a fan favorite and a 10. Well, that's a good sign. I'm hoping we get more tens here in this stack. Unfortunately, this isn't the shiny Eevee from the subset here in Hidden Fates. But uh, yeah, that would have gone for a lot more for about 150 at a PSA 10. This one instead goes for about $50 with a population of 11 total in a PSA graded 10. Next, we have a Sword and Shield base set Rainbow Rare Lapras. Rainbow Rares are great. However, at an eight, it's definitely far less valuable, obviously, than a nine and of course a 10. Get this, there are only two eights in the population, three nines, and 76 tens, 70, what happened to this one? I feel left out. Tens go for up to about $150, but an eight, I mean, there's not even any data for this. So I'm gonna put this at around $30. All right, so this one right here is very interesting. This is a Volcarona from 2012. So quite an old card, black and white. And this is actually a pre-release card promoting the Dark Explorers expansion in the black and white era of Pokemon, but more than a pre-release. It's actually a staff card, which is even more rare. Staff cards were given to staff members who held special events. And this one is graded a near mint plus 7.5, which isn't great at all, but still staff cards are amazing. They've been rumored to be discontinued or at least put on pause for a while. And uh, I have a video coming up about staff cards that I got my hands on recently that are extremely valuable. More on that later. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss that. This one in particular, uh, I'm gonna put this at, let's say $45 rare, but there's no demand. Next, we have a Raichu GX from the Hidden Fates tin. This is a promo card, the least popular of the three, in my opinion, there's Charizard, Gyarados, and then this Raichu. And this one at a mint nine, I just know it's not gonna go for very much. I mean, we're talking $25 with a population of 83. Then we have also from Hidden Fates, definitely an okay card to pull when you're opening packs, but 
not really what you want to see is a graded PSA card in a $700 PSA mystery box. We have we have some making up to do. All right, here we have a very popular card from the XY Evolution set in 2016, Mega Charizard EX Hollow full art, but a PSA 7. The 10s have been recently going for about 225 on eBay while the 7s, the last one sold for $32. This is very disappointing, in fact. I mean, a seven, it's, this isn't pack fresh at all, of course, and I don't know. Next, another Rainbow Rare Secret, Wimiscot, this time from the Unbroken Bonds set with a PSA grade of eight. The tens are going for about 70, the nines about 40 to 50, and the eights, well, similarly to the rest, there is hardly any sales data because again, there's so few of them and not in a good way. I'm gonna say 25 bucks. You know, this is the risk you take when you buy things that you can't see. Now we've got a Lugia Hollow promo card that came in a cool break evolution box back in 2016. One that was alongside another popular Pokemon, Ho-Oh. This card is really cool. Lots of people love Lugia. It's a highly sought after Pokemon as, as I do. I love it too. But unfortunately, again, a very poor grade at a near mint seven. Only two sevens exist. And this one is one of them. Yay. And so I'm just going to assume that this is probably potentially $25 at the seven graded level. Hoping for a home run here to catch up to the total cost of this box with their final PSA graded mystery slab. And that is a first edition gold duck from Fossil at a near mint PSA eight grade. And yeah, I don't I don't I don't think this is gonna do it for us. First edition Watsy cards, Wizards Wizard of the Coast are always good to have. This is the only vintage card from that era here in this package. A nine recently sold for 54 and another one for 46. This PSA 8, 35 bucks. In total, our PSA cards hold a current value of 322, which brings the actual value of this entire box, including the booster packs sealed and the extras to a grand total of $480.35. That is a $219.65 loss. Okay, that was not good at all over $200 lost from this. Now, of course, we can hold on to these things and perhaps over time, the value will appreciate and we'll have earned our money back or maybe even have earned a profit. You know, a lot of this stuff, if you're looking to flip things, mystery boxes are definitely not the way to go. I've seen other YouTubers here in the Pokemon space get some mystery boxes. Some hit it out of the park, but who knows? Maybe those people knew they were gonna be featured on videos or not. I'm not sure, but I just wanted to give you an experience because I know that's really why we buy these things, right? We buy the mystery boxes because what if? What if there's something in there that's great? And so you were able to get that for free today by just watching me lose money, but that's okay because I'm here to serve you and I wanted to bring some truth to this. So feel free to share this or rewatch it in case you don't understand. Just buy the cards you're looking for for your collection, right? Or if you're willing to take the risk, take a little bit smaller of a risk and maybe open some booster packs and have that little adrenaline rush versus the big down that can happen after you see a $200 loss like this. So anyway, thank you so much. If you wanna help me out a little bit here on the channel as it continues to grow, again, thank you so much for your support. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already, if you like this. And again, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any more videos like this. We've got two or three videos coming out each single week for you as I continue to build my collection, learn the lessons along the way, and that includes failures like this one. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And remember, every adventure begins with a choice. Thank you for choosing Deep Pocket Monster. Peace out.